Hey, this is Steve from Vertitron. Today we're at a job site where we've got two elevators that are identical cars. There's a 4,500 pound, 125 foot per minute cars, uh, duplexed. They both run approximately the same number of trips, so pretty comparable elevators. This elevator here, we're going to time the first floor to second floor run and see how it runs, and then we're going to time the one that we put the new system in, which is our Reflex 3.14 leveling system, and show you the difference of the performance. So here we go. Let's get in this car. So I've got a timer on my phone here, a stopwatch timer, and I'm going to hit start as soon as the doors are fully closed, and then I'm going to hit stop right when the doors just start to open. That'll give us our floor to floor time. So here we go. I'll take it off door hold. I'll put the first floor call in. Start. This is just a one floor run, and as soon as the doors start to open, I'll hit stop. So 15.6 seconds on that floor to floor run. And let's check this one out. Here we're fully closed, so I hit start. Start opening. 11.2. We're going to take a look at the temperatures of the two elevators now and see what the difference is. Get an accurate reading. 115 on elevator number one. I have seen these elevators during the day when it's busy, uh, get up to 125 degrees. Elevator number two, 101. So we dropped the temperature 14 degrees with the new leveling system. Now we did not put in anything different on the power unit. We did nothing but put in a leveling system. Another thing we've done on this elevator is we put in a counter. It's been running for the last month and a half. And right now we have 16,169 up trips on this elevator. So again, fairly busy elevator. And I'm gonna show you exactly what that does for time savings on this, on this project. We saw in the video taken at the job site that the improvements made by installing the Reflex 3.14 leveling system was an elevator that ran 4.4 seconds quicker on a floor to floor run in the up direction and a power unit that ran 14 degrees cooler. Those are two pretty big improvements. Now I want to take that information and plug it into our energy savings calculator and show you what 4 seconds calculates out to for energy savings over a year's period of time. So I'm just going to enter 4 seconds in here. We already have the data entered in from the job site, which was 325 trips per day. The motor horsepower was 40 horsepower. Uh, the kilowatt rate I'm using is 10 cents a kilowatt hour, which is the national average right now in the United States. So I enter that information in, and you're going to see that that elevator is going to see an annual savings of $393 in electrical cost. The motor run hour saved of running that 40 horsepower motor over a year's period of time is going to be 132 hours. So you're going to run that elevator 132 hours less, but still make the same number of trips. That's a pretty significant savings there. Now, if we assume that every time the elevator goes up, it's got to come back down, and we know that the Reflex 3.14 leveling system is saving you time in both the up and the down direction, you can see a total annual elevator running hour saved of 264. So, I mean, that's the wait time or the ride time that passengers are going to save over a year's period of time, 264 hours. That's pretty significant. So, if you've got an elevator you'd like to install the reflex system on, give us a call.